kids and and breast cancer in women and so if you're if you're feeding your chickens some a feed that contains soy then you're gonna you're gonna take that in and so it's important to you know be mindful of what you feed your feed your animals if you're gonna eat eat them or their byproducts yes now question this see what's the name of your old company or the fancy chicken farm company the fancy chicken farm company and where are you yep. located we're located in independence kentucky oh geez that's where i'm from oh nice. independence right down yeah. on mccollum pike yeah yeah, yeah. 38 mccollum uh, so yep. that's our place yep. i'm dr john stevenson oh i think i've heard of you before maybe might have heard of me i used to be superintendent of education for the whole state of kentucky um, Okay. And, yeah. But uh, anyway, my wife and I um, uh, lived there, and um, of course, I grew up down on Martin and Moffat Roads. Okay. We had a little farm down there, and of course, we had our own chickens, oh. Rock Island, Rock Island, I think they were Rock, I Rock uh, Island. Bard Rocks. Uh, they, these were Rock Island Whites, I think. Okay. But uh, when we had, of course, they were just barn chickens, and yep. but we got our eggs from all of them. You know. Oh yeah. I grew up on them. Yeah. And lived on chicken and chicken and rabbits. Oh yeah. But um, where's the telephone number somebody would reach you all? Uh, so a good telephone number would be 859-322-9687. That'll go to my personal cell phone. Okay, um, and your name is? My name is Chelsea. Chelsea, okay, Chelsea. Well, you'll see this hopefully on uh, YouTube under Travels with John Stevenson. Oh, nice. And on Facebook under John Stevenson with nice. a PH. Well, hopefully they don't look too bad. No, you look fine, and, and the chickens look great. I, <laughs> well, good. I can't wait to tell my neighbor about them. Let me get another little shot of them here. Let's see here, close up. Uh, and their names are? Uh, Blanche and Pepper. Blanche and Pepper. Well, God bless you, Blanche and Pepper, and I'll just do one little quick thing for you. Everybody loves somebody sometime. Makes no difference when, or where, or how. Everybody loves somebody sometime. It's Blanche and Pepper's time right now. Right here with uh, Eden's Garden, Rachel Eden. And she did a beautiful job working on this. And I'm glad as her uncle to come over here and do a little filming. And thank you for a nice little interview here. God bless <laughs> you. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> I see Ken over there working. They're breaking down things and taking them back out to the car or truck. And they'll head back to the farms. There's Rachel breaking down. A lot of hard work.
Rachel's just like Miss Chune, a hard worker. And loading up on the other side, there's a good little worker right there. It's always a lot of hard work. I see Ken in there taking down the, the uh, tent and the other helpers. Got all the vans lined up here. It's a family project. Ken putting things in the back of the Ford truck there. Oh, Ken! <laughs> Here comes Amy. Carrying a load. Breaking down. How many times have I done that on campaigns? <laughs> oh, our policy management associates. And I did all of the audits all over the state of Kentucky energy audits. for all the community action agencies in Kentucky. One end to the other end. Training the workers on how to weatherize homes. Policy Management Associates. Got you all on picture now. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Amy. Everybody loading up.
there's a little tyke. Bless her heart. She'll be an Amy when she grows up. Dad will get it for you. Come on, Sissy. <laughs> Dad got it for her. And there's Mom and Dad there. Still working hard. Ken and Amy, <laughs> Rachel's still working down there. Bless their hearts. Y'all working hard. See ya. Well, John is very proud of him. Working so hard.
breaking down. Got a good shot of them here. Travels with John Stevenson. 859-750-0000. Eaton's Garden. Miss Rachel Eaton. With her mom and dad there. Beautiful. Thanks for breaking down, getting the breaking down, the hard work. Getting the breaking down, the hard work. Tell Miss I said hello. Setting up and breaking down, that's 90% of it. <laughs> hard work. You take care. God bless you and take care. Take care. I'll tell Miss June you said hello. Oh, please do. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Huh? Give this to Jen. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> yeah. Rachel gave it to me, but that's fine. You might just want to be careful. It's full of okay. water. Okay. Water. I'll set something next to it. Okay. All right. Bye. Take care. Thank you now. All done. Headed home. Back to 38 McCollum Pike, Independence, Kentucky. Headed on home here now. About 5'11", and uh, took about an hour for them to pack things up, break down. It's quite a working thing. You have to labor of love. You have to really enjoy what you're doing there. And uh, you can tell that they do. I was sort of thrilled to be there with uh, them and their efforts. And I uh, hope some of you folks out there uh, can look them up and do a little business with them. I think you'd find it to be very, very, very healthy food and other items. So I won't know what kind of footage I've got until I get home, but it'll be a little rough, but I think it gets the point across that uh, they had a good time, they enjoyed themselves, and a lot of people got to see some new products and some agriculture that is healthy agriculture. Former Superintendent of Education, Dr. John Stevenson here, with Travels with John Stevenson, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S-O-N. Look us up on YouTube and watch the history of all the counties of Kentucky, which we have on film, all 120 of them, and the overall history by Dr. Thomas Clark. In fact, in Campbell County, the history is by Andy Jolly, former judge, and Ken Reese, a uh, history. Uh, historian in Campbell County. Over in Kenton County we had John Blakely and Bill Straw historians and of course in Boone County we had Judge Bruce Ferguson and the overall history of Kentucky we had Dr. Thomas Clark who lived to be 101 years old and was one of my history teachers. Of course my main history teacher was Dr. Charles Talbert who I had four courses with and I had my black history uh, from Dr. Stephen Channing at the University of Kentucky and then went on to teach the first black history course in the Commonwealth of Kentucky first at uh, Jessamine County in my student teaching curriculum which I received an A plus for and then uh, in my first year teaching at Erlanger Lloyd High School in a public school the first black history taught in the Commonwealth of Kentucky now um, uh, you'll be able to see this on Facebook 
our YouTube, and you'll also be able to see our uh, Europe by Train series, about 14 hours long and on one hour shows. And uh, for the seven or eight countries we traveled through uh, Europe on, uh, which include uh, uh, Austria and Hungary and Yugoslavia and uh, Greece and Italy and uh, islands in Greece, Rome, the Vatican, and uh, Florence, and Venice, and Naples, all through Venice, and um, of course uh, Germany, and Munich, and Dachau, the concentration camp, which would be interesting and educational for young people, and, uh, and then uh, France, a little bit of France, and a lot of Germany, and a whole lot of Switzerland, and uh, Italy. So you enjoy those shows and they're educational for the whole family and uh, um, so look it up and you'll enjoy it and uh, you can reach me at home at 859-750-0000 I hope you enjoy this show today of this uh, Eaton's Garden with uh, Rachel Eaton and her products and all the other booze that were there at the Alexander B um, B um, Bavarian or Alexander uh, beverage place there and uh, we had a good day John Stevenson signing off here uh, for this evening get back home to Miss June and see if I can pick her up a little supper somewhere and give her a call and see if she wants me to bring anything home June Diamond Stevenson uh, Ken's sister and the smartest move I ever made marrying Miss June she would say so too most of the time <laughs> love y'all I think I'm going to do one more thing since I'm over here in Campbell County I'm going to drop by Jim and Rose's house just see if they might be home say hello to them on uh, I think that's uh, Pools Creek Road uh, but named a, a Guyman connector after uh, the Guyman family and Jimmy Guyman and uh, in particular, uh, back when I was uh, uh, transportation secretary, deputy secretary in Kentucky, and I'm proud to have helped to get that uh, connector named after Jimmy Guyman had his terrible accident there and lost his life. Mighty fine young man, my nephew was. And he's in heaven, and his mom and dad are, and his brother are, and their families his sister Jill from down in our goddaughter from down in Louisville they're doing right fine doing just fine God bless you and we'll get down here on the Guyman connector and see if the Jim and Rose are home and you'll see right here where it says Guyman Connector I was very thrilled to do, be a part of that Crooked Little Road. Welcome to the city of Cold Springs, Kentucky. Good people. A lot of history of the Guymans here on this road. It's their grandfather built a stone house up here. The Gaimans have been excellent stonemasons, professional and carpenters. Oh, just unbelievably talented family. Built some beautiful homes, Gaiman Brother Home Builders.
one of the houses I built over in uh, Fort Mitchell. Little house that sits up on the hill there, 213 Beechwood Road. Uh, they did the stonework, did a beautiful job, and on the fireplace, and along with Roger Evans. And here's Jim and Rose's place here. And there's a stone house right up there. I don't know if there's anybody in here or not. Oh, maybe give June a call here. Thank <laughs> you.